Hi guys, so this video is a really fun unboxing for a package that I received from a company called nbeads.com. They reached out to me and asked me to do a review of some of the items on their website and then I could share um, a discount code with you guys as well as the links to all the, the items that I selected. So I'm going to show you what I picked for review and then give you all the prices. I'll also have the links to each of these items in the description box below, as well as my discount code and the website link. So um, I wanted to do some specific projects for you guys. When I was selecting items, I was thinking of projects that I would like to do for tutorials or whatever. Um, so I'll show you the dies first, I guess. Dies are the most common thing for us paper crafters. And I found these really pretty, um, like the full dies that do the whole sheet. And what I'm planning to do is a tutorial on how, or a project share on how, um, I make like these sturdy cardstock boxes. And this is going to be the front and back of the box. Um, with this pretty full die. So this one is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really pretty star pattern. And this came, this only came in a two set. So what I'm planning to do is use one for my project share and then the other I'm going to save for uh, an upcoming giveaway. So this was two dies, two pieces for $8, which I think is really great. And I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. So it looks like a nighttime sky has all of the little different sized um, stars but then it also has actual little stars um, mixed in so i thought that was a really pretty one for a full die then i found this one for four dollars and 59 cents this is just one piece but it's a really intricate floral pattern and i thought this would be really pretty as well to do the same thing so i'm gonna give it a go and see how it cuts and then I will do the project share with you guys. And I did pick up another, oh yeah, this die because I was thinking for the floral one that it would be pretty to add some like gold, little tiny gold leaves. And this was the perfect size. It's a set of tiny little leaves and I just love these little itty bitty ones. So we'll see if I'm able to incorporate that into the project and this was two four six eight different leaves and this set was only two dollars and 92 cents so not bad the pricing is pretty good there um the second set of things that i picked up were ribbons um if you've seen some of my recent projects i showed let's see um, I showed how I was making these tiny little pinched bows and I wanted to do a tutorial so I thought this would be uh, a really fun selection and I could do the the little bow tutorial using these ribbons so this set I don't know if you can see it but it has a ton of different size and pattern ribbons so I'm going to open it up and show you guys and this was only five dollars and ninety cents and it has a ton of ribbons so it has these really thick i think this is probably like an inch and a half let's see um yeah an inch and a half on this really thick gross grain ribbon but then it has this much smaller one which is fun for tiny little bows um but what i what made me fall in love with this this really pretty strawberry patterned one and you get quite a bit here i would think it's about a yard um and I was thinking like a vintage 80s strawberry shortcake themed project in the future and that would be perfect. But then there's also this one that had the cherries. How cute is that? Like a pastel one with cherries. There's some ladybugs here, really cute, nice and summery. Um, and just some pretty patterns. Look, this really pretty polka dot one, this one with lollipops. There's florals more of the skinny ribbon this is going to be adorable to make some tiny little tiny little bows i can't wait to show you guys how to make them because i figured out how to make them really easily so here's some cupcake ribbon this is cute it has a little bumblebee and it says happy be happy 
and just cute little animal prints just really fun this one's really pretty too so this is the only one that's not a gross grain ribbon it's like a silky ribbon and it's this pastel polka dot one so that'll be pretty um, there's this one with some hearts and then this patriotic teddy bear one so really fun some nice solid colors here so you get quite a variety this hot pink and then just all different sizes right so those will be pretty for the bows so i'll show you guys how i do that i don't know where i pulled all this from but okay so that set was 590 and you get one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 20 different um ribbons and i believe they're about a yard i could measure one i have one open let's see so a yard would be three feet so let me just yeah so this is a yard each and you guys know i mean you can go to dollar tree and get a printed ribbon that's a yard or two yards for a dollar but this is still good so you're getting 20 yards for 5.90 that's about 25 cents a yard right um phenomenal deal and you're getting all these patterns they're just really pretty and then i did pick up this ribbon i just fell in love with this ribbon it's a light like pastel pink um striped ribbon and this was 220 and if i had to guess this is probably like six yards so um i've purchased ribbon like this maybe a third of the length for the same price at like daiso japan um so this is a lot that you're getting for 220 i can't get it open it's completely sealed let's see here we go sorry for the crinkling you guys so this one's about an inch and then just look how pretty that is so i'm thinking if i'm doing bows with this right how cute are those bows gonna look those cute pinched bows and then you could also make them with the you know with the hanging pieces but i'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys and show you how i make those bows really easy all you need is the ribbon and a glue gun um, so this one was 220 for that beautiful pink striped one and then the last thing i snagged um, just to see if i could use any of these thinner ribbons in it um, to do some fun projects this is the ribbon tassels like the bars for ribbon tassels so I think they're called crimp beads, right? So you have this bar and it has these clawed teeth and then you put your ribbon and your different sequin ribbons and everything. You kind of layer it in here, however you like, different lengths, different strings. And then you use your pliers to press the teeth closed. And then you could hang a little charm off the top, put a jump ring, and this becomes like a little tassel. So these are cute, like one inch bars and you get 50 pieces let me see yeah 50 pieces for 65 cents and the shipping was pretty quick you guys this all took less than two weeks to get to me from the date of, of the order um so if you're interested in any of these particular items i'm gonna link like i said each one in the description box below i'm also going to put the end beads uh, website down below and my coupon code is rebecca01 and that will give you three dollars off of a 24 dollar order so pretty good um pretty good discount and if you do go on to the website and pick up any of these things or use my code let me know in the comments down below i'd love to go and check out your video and see what you picked up from the website and stay tuned for the two um, project shares and tutorials that i'll be doing with these items that i selected all right thanks for watching guys bye